Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video. I'm a huge fan of the McFarlane Batman 66 six inch line. You got vehicles, you got play sets, you got all the cool characters that are still making them. Still have to pick up Bookworm. But happy to say, within the seven inch DC Multiverse line, we finally have an Adam West Batman 66, and he looks Rad. And there's even a chance to potentially win a limited edition replica cow, which is very old fashioned. -y. I like that. Now, the sides of the box Batman classic TV series, of course, and you can scan this. It says no purchase necessary. We'll go over it just a little bit. There's a card inside the box, yada yada. The back side shows pure west right there and of course here's the barcode mine came from walmart so head out now if you'd like to go ahead and find yourself one but in the meantime this is gonna be an absolute blast sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new adam west batman 66 7 inch dc multiverse action figure by mcfarland toys And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging. You get some nice accessories, you get some extra hands, of which we will discuss. But overall, it's pretty nice. Now, this is the card. You don't get a traditional trading card that has the bios and everything else. This is a enter for a chance to win the Batman cowl. And as you'll see on the back, McFarlane Toys Retro Sweepstakes. There's a code you scratch off. You go ahead and use your phone, you scan the QR code, and you can enter. Unfortunately, though, the contest as of this video doesn't open for another basically eight days. So coming up on another episode, we'll see if we won. Who knows? But in either case, I think that that's very interesting. Again, very retro, very cool of them to do a sweepstake. So more of that. But you do get a bunch of extra hands for this Batman 66, like a point in hand and yes part of the fun of having adam west is also including him with a bunch of other characters within the dc multiverse you also get a chin scratching slash clue holding hand as well as two hands allowing you to dance the bat to see and that is awesome thanks for throwing that in the box i love posing him out doing that fisted hands would have been nice though with all the biff pow bam wows you know what I'm saying? Now, you do get the Batman 66 Bat Radio. It has some paint on it. I really wish they would have painted the speaker parts. But like I said, the accompanying hands complete with the chin scratching, chin holding, that kind of dealio. Yeah, they work great together. As well as a Batarang. Now, it does not come with the string. I repeat, it does not come with a string. I put that on myself. Simply just took a piece of string and did it old school style. And... I actually like that you can do that. You get the cape billowing, you get him in that stance like he's going to toss it up, and he's going to start climbing rooftops with Robin. It's awesome. Definitely like that. And the figure itself, I'll save you some time, is quite fun as well. I really like the head portrait. Now, I'm not going to be one of those sticklers. A lot of you may look at this like, well, maybe this is off, this is off. That looks like Adam West within the Batman 66 TV show. If the eyebrows or the mask or the ear, if something's off in that sense, it's like Darth Vader. I'm not a stickler for it. It just looks like Batman 66. So I'm happy with it overall. And with the articulation of which you can move the head around and get him looking up, down, left, right. Plenty of mobility there. He does have a bendy wire cape. I'll get to that in just a few. We'll look at the arms and such. He has double jointed elbows. He's got the gloves of which it looks like a man in a costume with the belts. It just overall really captures the fun of Adam West within this TV show way back in the day. And yes, the articulation is not going to be something crazy. It's a typical McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse articulation. But I'm happy to say he has a much better ab crunch this time around because I would say that overall this looks like a brand new body in totality. The legs, of course, again, nothing new, but it all works with you. So the legs and the knees and the feet and the boots, it's going to be great if you're a fan of DC Multiverse articulation. But I can't believe it. They match the pins. It's not a solid black pin. It's a blue pin on a blue boot. What's going on here, McFarlane Toys? What is happening? Sweepstakes, correct pins, cool articulation, pretty much enough accessories. I'm blown away. And also, like I said, you do get a bendy wired cape. Now, it's not really a cloth. It's more of that taffeta. 
better quality than the Batman 66 six inch line. Let's just say that. But I think a lot of people, and I will agree with this, it should have been a little bit of a shorter cape. I'm not going to complain about that, though. I think that it works well in just completing that fun comic book TV show look for Batman 66. So despite the length of the cape, I think it works. And I like the way that it bunches. It just it works for me in totality. So well done. And what's fun is that, again, in the sense of the DC multiverse, you can have Adam West, Batman, amidst all your comic book characters. So these are the more deadly denizens of Gotham City, as opposed to what you would see on the original TV show. But it works, and it's a lot of fun, especially when you have all the vibrant colors of the Justice League, Wonder Woman, Superman, Green Lantern, Barry Allen, Flash. I love it. And oddly enough, I feel like Batman 66 fits in with that. That is very cool. So... That will wrap it up for my really quick look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Adam West Batman 66 figure. And yes, there will be a platinum variant of this. He will be in the black and white color scheme, which if I do see that, I'm not going to actively search it out. But if I do see it, I'll definitely going to grab it because that's cool. I, I like that as well. As gimmicky as, you know, they, they do these things, but sometimes they get some good ones uh, going. The only thing missing, fisted hands, biff, pow, bam, wow. Something like that would have been cool, but you can use your six-inch line for that. But fisted hands, it's kind of a no-brainer. I would have thought that they would have definitely put that in. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. So comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Batman 66. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, will Toyshiz win the coveted Batman Cowl Giveaway Contest? Find out at a later episode. Same time, same channel. And if I do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.